Hey guys, so I just wanted to film a little bit of background information before the video actually starts, just so it makes a little bit more sense. But basically what's happened is I've had surgery now, uh, spinal fusion at L5-S1, um, but just a bit of background info on like the past year. So basically the past 13, 14 months-ish, um, I've been having really bad lower back pain um, and pain in the top of my hamstrings. Um, and we, find, we went for scans in January of 2021 and we found that I have spondylolisthesis um, and also pars defects. So basically I've got two fractures in, well I had two fractures in my lower spine um, at L5 S1 and that had caused my spine to like slip forward and because of the slipping, we then later found in around November of 2021 that it's caused um, like really bad degeneration of my disc at L, like in between L5 and S1. Um, we confirmed that with the discogram, which is a procedure where I lay awake and they put a needle into my spine. It, it wasn't pleasant, but um, yeah, so I've had the fusion now and basically that's what this video is going to be about, the recovery in hospital. Um, I was, I'm in hospital for five to seven days, that's what I was told, but I end up in hospital for around nine, ten days. Um, so yeah, this is the video. Um, I've got two, there's going to be two YouTube videos. There's this one and then another one because um, it ends up being too long. But yeah, it's for anyone that maybe this. You're good there. Um, it's for anyone. Major. It's my it's, it's my my dog Major. Um, yeah, for anyone that's deciding to go um, ahead with a spinal fusion or don't know if they should or if they are, you just want a little bit of like insight on what it's going to be like. I know personally myself, I found a lot of videos, a lot of YouTube videos to watch beforehand just to like have any idea of what I'm about to go into. Um, so yeah, I hope this helps you and I, I yeah, I hope it's good. <laughs> hey guys, I just wanted to check in. It is now approximately around five, six hours post-op. Um, I went in around 8 this morning and was in the recovery by around 3 o'clock, 3.30. So it wasn't, wasn't too bad, pretty good. Um, I'm in a lot of pain, but that was expected. I knew it was going to be bad. But um, I have got a lot of IVs and stuff here. Um, one's for the fentanyl drip, which I've got control over. And then the other one's just for the saline water I think that is what it is but yeah just fluids to keep me hydrated and then this one's for the nurses to use when they need it um, and I had another one in here before but they've taken that out that was to monitor my blood pressure um, but yeah not too bad mum's been in all day she's just gone home to have some dinner and get the boys sorted out um, but yeah, I've got a big incision across my stomach or lower stomach where they went in for the front part. Then I've got around three or four incisions in my back where they did took out the bone from my hip. And then they went in and put the screws in through my back. Um, but I'm only on fluids. I'm not allowed anything else but water um, until I pass gas. And then I can go on a really light diet and I think you know, it will progress and progress until I get back to a normal diet just before I leave. Hey guys, just wanted to give you an update. So it's now 2.40 a.m. in the morning of the 11th of January. Um, I have finally passed some gas, which <laughs> is actually a good thing because now I can finally have some apple juice. So I've finally, finally being able to have something other than water. And about an hour ago, I had a bag for um, antibiotics and Panadol, um, so I wasn't just having fentanyl. Um, but yeah, I'm getting sleep every now and then, just having like little half an hour um, naps. But it's not the easiest to sleep with the pain um, and all the noises, but doing the best we can. Good morning, everyone. It is now 20 past six on the 11th of january um i've just had the nurse come in and she's given me an injection of heparin into my leg to prevent blood clots and all the local anesthetic is now wearing off quite a bit so i'm getting really quite sore especially in the stomach where the um, big incision is but um i've just been trying to keep moving like rolling from side to side just so that um, I just started to get really weak, like my muscles got really weak, um, which has also got to do with all the drugs, but um, I just wanted to keep moving so I don't 
cause blood clots as well. But um, my surgeon should be coming in at some point this morning to talk to me. And hopefully by tonight I'll be on a little bit more of a um, food diet rather than just water and apple juice. Um, probably not solids and all that yet, but more yogurt and um, jelly and probably stuff like that by tonight. It's nearly 1pm on the 11th of January. Um, about an hour ago I had a physio and a nurse come in to help me um, shuffle to the end of the bed, sit for a second. Um, because I got really dizzy, I just have to take things very slowly. Then I had a walking frame and we just stood up for a few minutes. Um, did a few walking on the spot, just lifting my feet up and down um, while they changed all the sheets and stuff just so I was in clean sheets. Then sat back down, laid back down and I had a little bit of a wipe down just with some cloths because I can't um, sit up or sit down in a proper chair yet. So I can't actually have a shower. But they gave me a wipe down. Um, I had a bit of a stand up and then a lot of painkillers because that hurt a lot. So um, got my pain under control now. Um, my surgeon has also come in in the past hour, um, basically just saying, you know, everything went well, um, surgery went really well. They did have a little bit of trouble getting to the actual spot, but, um, no pro actual complications with the surgery, just a little bit of trouble, uh, trouble actually getting to the, um, spine from the front, I think he said. Um, but yeah, I'm still on just a clear liquid diet, so only apple juice because um, I don't really like the jelly and stuff that they have, so I'm just having apple juice. Um, but yeah, that's basically it for now, just just chilling. Mum should be getting here in the next few minutes, and then I've got a friend coming later. So yeah, that's it, and I'll um, check in with you guys soon. Sorry about my hair, it's a little wild. Um, but I had the pain med doctor come in, and they basically just checked my wounds and asked how the pain was and all that. Um, and because the fentanyl is not working well enough as they want it to, he, she's going to go talk to my anaesthetist um, and see if they can switch me to a different pain med, which will hopefully control my pain a bit better. Um, just because at the moment it's just getting way too high and I'm not being able to sleep. So we'll see what my anaesthetist says and we'll see if we can switch on to a stronger drug. But I'll, I'll let you guys know, see what happens. Hey guys, so just an update. My pain management doctor has switched my um, pain meds to a hydromorphone um, self-drip so I can click the button for when I want that and when I need it. And then the other one is a ketamine drip which is just continually going into my IV. Um, I've been on that for just about half an hour now, nearly an hour, and it's really helping um, a lot better than before. I'm only up like 4 out of 10 pain, so things are looking a bit better. Um, my dad and brother are just about to come visit. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Welcome to Emma's vlog. It's me. She's happy again because I'm visiting. <laughs> um, how many days have you been here? Two nights. Two nights. Woohoo! I'm gonna be here every day. She'll never get rid of me. I'm just tag teaming with her mum. Because her mum her mom leaves. I, I rock up. We're coming with Amy tomorrow, so stay tuned. I'm making her drive me because I hate driving. Um, anyways, Emma's going to tell you actual surgery things, so. <laughs> so, hey guys, so basically I am now being able to go into some solid foods. Not much um, because my digestive tract isn't quite moving as much as it needs to be, but I've had a little bit of veg, had some broccoli, had some um, pumpkin soup and a little bit of ice cream. Um, and that's basically it at the moment. The painkillers are kicking in really well now that they've changed it onto the um, hydromorphone, whatever that is, anyway. <laughs> At the moment it is 8.30 on the 11th of January. Um, I have just been turned onto my side, which if you know me at all, I really do not like laying on my side. I just like find it so uncomfortable and it hurts my back so much more, but um... The tube that they put into my bladder, which is draining my urine, um, hasn't been draining when I've been laying on my stomach, on my back, sorry. So we've rolled, I've been rolled onto my side so the urine can drain um, through the catheter. I do feel a lot better now in my stomach that my um, bladder's emptied, but 
I really do not like laying on my side. It's very uncomfortable. It is um, one o'clock in the morning on the 12th of January. Um, I've just been rolled over onto my side um, to get rid of some of the pins and needles in my back. But because I'm having the ketamine drip, the pain medication ketamine, um, they have to check my obs every hour or half an hour or something like that. So I'm not really getting much sleep. But um, it's alright, I'm dozing in and out and the pain medication is actually working now. So I'm actually getting some pain relief, which is really nice. I would say I'm probably only at a 3 out of 10 pain at the moment which is the best I've been in like six months. So it's amazing, I'm feeling really good. Morning guys, it's 8.30 on the 12th of January. So it's a Wednesday now. Um, it hasn't been a very good morning. I've been very, very nauseous. Um, I got really nauseous after they gave me the um, antibiotics through my IV. It was about two hours ago I got the antibiotics and it's only now that it's starting to settle down um but yeah so i've just been really really nauseous really out of it like nothing actually feels real today which is weird because um i was on these drugs yesterday as well and i didn't feel like this but now i'm just like nothing actually feels real like i feel like i'm dreaming right now also having problems um draining my urine i know that was the same as yesterday but today it's just worse um, they have to keep moving me so that they can drain the urine through the catheter. But even then, they still haven't been able to drain much. Um, now I have to balance between pain meds and nausea meds because if I have too much pain meds, I get too nauseous. But if I stop having the pain meds, I get so sore that I'm more nauseous. So it's like a constant battle. <coughs> but we're hoping by um, in a couple of hours, I should be able to get up with my physio and the nurse to shower, so I'm looking forward to that, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, I'll catch up with you guys again later. With my diet, I don't know if I've already said this, but, um, because I really don't like broth and jelly, they've put me on a really light diet, like white bread, um, salad, sandwiches, um, juice, yogurt, cereal, and I think for dinner tonight I'm having fish, so just really light things like that. Um, so I'm pretty sure for lunch I'm allowed a salad sandwich. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. I'm a little bit hungry now. It's been quite a few days since I've had some good food. But um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, so I'll just update you. I've just had my shower. Um, it's the first shower I've had where I've actually got up, walked to the shower, sat in the shower and had it. Um, yesterday I was just wiped down with some flannels, but today I actually got to shower myself, which was nice. I um, feel a lot fresher, a bit more awake. Um, and now I'm having a bit of um, just a salad sandwich and juice. I can't have much more than that at the moment because my um, bowels aren't moving properly. But yeah, um, mum should be here in like the next half an hour so I'll get to see her. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. The pain meds are working really well. My pain is probably about 4 out of 10 now. Just about to have some food. I've had a shower so I feel all clean. So, you know, you just have to do stuff that makes you feel a bit more alive so you don't feel so you know, um, drowsy the whole time, but yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. So it's 5.30 on the 12th of January. Um, I've just been up for a walk. Um, I'll insert the video here. Um, got up, went for a walk to the other side of the room, sat in the chair for 20 minutes, um, got my hair redone, just sat and look at, like, looked out the window for a little bit with mum.
the chair and back your legs. Yeah. So you're going to reach down, probably with your left hands easier, onto the arm of the chair, and then slowly lower yourself. I've got these, don't worry about these. Well done. And when you're on the edge, you're going to move yourself back. Are we taking a frame away? Yeah, we'll just put it over there. Well done. Very good. Um, now I'm back in bed. Um, got my my button for the pain meds because I'm very sore again. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I'm just trying to get the pain back back down so it's not as bad. And um, Mum's just getting a drink, then she'll be back. Then Angelina and Amy should be coming very soon. And then at seven, Dad and Josh I think are coming maybe. So yeah. I've got visitors coming for the next couple of hours, which is going to be good. But yeah, I'm just trying to get up and keep moving as many times as I can without, without pushing myself too much. But yeah, I feel good now. Like, I can feel the blood has circulated through my body. So, yeah. I'm back and I brought Amy this time. <laughs> um, from my observations, um, Emma's new drugs is making her a little bit more out of it than she was yesterday. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> so we're having fun. Do you have any updates you need to give, or have you already given other updates? I'm very drowsy. <laughs> That's bad. But doesn't want to go to sleep. No. Wants to stay up for a few hours. So we shall needlessly chatter. Mm -hmm. We'll chat back and forth next week. Which I think are pretty good updates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want me shaking? I had a coffee for so I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Bye bye. I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> So I've just woken up from a little nap. Um, I've been sleeping quite well, which I'm quite surprised about. So like in between every time they take my vitals, so like every hour or so I'm getting a good like nap, which is really good. Um, and the pain as well has been pretty good over the past couple of hours. Um, it is nearly 12.30 in the morning of the 13th of January. Um, and I've been clicking my button, this one here, the hydro um, morphone button every now and then not too often and my pain is still um, quite good like I would probably say it's only a 3 out of 10 at the moment which is really really good um, I'm keeping hydrated um, and I'm still connected to the I've got a I don't know if you can see that up there or not but I've got a paracetamol drip IV drip like a um, Panadol going into my IV and I've also still got the um, the other the ketamine uh, one that I've been on, um, yeah. And then my button drip, so still the same. Um, not feeling too bad at all. Not nauseous anymore. Um, not really in a much pain, and I'm sleeping pretty well. So I'm really happy with how I'm feeling at the moment. It always seems to get to like midnight, and I'm feeling really good again. And then it normally goes downhill in the mornings. So I'll see how we go this morning. I'll keep you updated. See if it stays good or if we get bad again one thing that i thought i might just mention about the ketamine is it's um i was told that it can make you kind of like seem like you're constantly like in a dream or um make you kind of not hallucinate but kind of hallucinate little things here and there which it really has and it's kind of embarrassing because like i don't know if i've already said this or not but at some point um when like you know if i have my friends in the room or if my parents are here or mum or just even like nurses or something um i might just start speaking about something and they'll be like w w what are you going on about like i will literally start thinking we're in a shopping center doing the shopping or something and i'll just start talking about doing shopping or like i don't know what else has happened but the one that mainly kept that i actually remember is shopping like i thought we were doing shopping and then when i kind of just came to a little bit i was like oh wait i'm still in the hospital room so it's just like really strange like ketamine can be very strong um yeah, I don't know if I've done much more weird things that people have gone, what the hell are you talking about? So, good morning. It is six o'clock, the 13th of January, so it's a Thursday now. Um, and I just thought it would be good to kind of have a few goals set for today. So, my main things that I really want to get up to is I want to be getting up and having a shower um, nearly by myself. Um, obviously, with the help of nerves getting there and back and stuff like that. But, um, just in a general sense, I want to get up and have a shower. I also want to get up and walk up and down the corridor, like the hallway, um, to get a bit more movement in. 
And another thing that I really want to get done today is I want to get dressed. Like I want to get dressed into my own clothes so I can get out of the hospital stuff and just feel a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more, you know, fresh as well. I think getting into my own clothes might make me feel a little bit better myself. So, yeah, they're my goals for the day. So, um, I've just had breakfast. Um, this morning, I still have to be on a light diet, I think, for a couple of days still. So, this morning, I had a small bowl of cornflakes and I've just got, I'm still eating the melon and a bit of water. I have no idea what was going on this morning, like between 9.30 and 12.30. At some point in there, I had a shower, my IV came out, I had to have a new one put in and I'm at where I am now, I'm finally starting to feel okay because I've had enough painkillers go in. Like I've clicked the button a good five or six times now um, over the past half an hour to, um, get my pain levels back to being okay so yeah by this afternoon i think we're aiming like my physio and i are aiming to be able to get up and go for a walk down the hallway so yeah i'll update you on that and film that because i think that'll be a really good um improvement um something to achieve that'll be good to achieve for the day so yeah that's it's just been a weird morning Guess who's back? Me. I brought a present. We got a lovely little blanket. It's all fluffy. And look, I've got. Where'd they go? We got her initials. M. Fabulous. And now Emma's gonna give her actual update that you probably care about, but you should care about me more because I'm the most important. Anyways. <laughs> hello, hello. So, um, it is now. What's the time? Exactly it's exactly at 7 o'clock on the 13th of January. Um, I've just had dinner. So tonight we had some, just some spaghetti, like the tin spaghetti with broccoli, carrots and potatoes. Um, and then for dessert, I had a banana and honey yogurt and a jug of water. So yeah, that, that's my food for tonight. Um, the surgeons also come in and said that um, because of the recovery and everything like that, I'm going to be using a lot of energy to recover. So he's basically given me permission to be able to have chocolate and whatever I want. So just like that, they're all born again. Um, Mum, Dad and Josh have just left, so they're going home. And um, Lena, my best friend, she was here a couple of hours ago. Um, but all born again, all on my own again. But going to hopefully get a good night's sleep tonight. I just want to thank my mummy for coming in all the time and especially my little teddy bear that she's brought me um for the emotional support um little figure um but she's like always here like before she's allowed and after she's allowed to come in she's just always here so um if she ever watches this thank you very much i love you very much and to my best friend angelina like honestly i don't know what i would be doing without you um like your constant messages and being in here literally every single day and like now i've got this absolutely amazing blanket of hers that she's brought in um and like the best part like she embroidered my initials on it like who is this girl above and beyond all the time absolutely amazing love her two bits so um thank you so much all both of you all of you and to all my friends and all that for your messages and for amy coming in and i know zoe's coming in tomorrow so yeah i just um thank you for all your support you are definitely um helping a lot um, so yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later and I'll check in and let you guys know how things are going tomorrow. Hey guys, it is now four days post-op. We are now the, on Friday the 14th. It is currently around 9.30, um, in the morning. A few things have already happened this morning. Um, my, I have had some bowel movement, which is really good, which also means that they were able to take my catheter out. Um, so a few big steps have happened, which is really good. I'm happy about that. Um, they have also decided that my, um, hydromorphone can come out, like, my drip and all of that, like, a few of these can come out, um, this morning, um, because I won't be able to administer my own pain meds anymore, they're going to just have it all oral and keep me on the, um, IV ketamine because that is, um, managing the pain really well, 
Um, so that's a good sign. They're getting to the point where it's going to be mostly oral pain meds so that when I go home, I can just stay on those and not have to ease off much um, in the last few days of being in hospital. I still have to be on a light diet though because I had an anterior surgery so like they came in through the front um, so I still have to be on a really light diet um, which means I can't really eat much other than I'm having small cereals in the morning, um, low fibre, sandwiches for lunch and then chicken or fish and veg, stuff like that for dinner. Even though I'm on a light diet he still wants me to eat quite a bit of food like bring in chocolate, bring in all the other type of stuff because all the healing process is going to be using so much energy that I'm going to lose way too much weight. And if I don't eat enough, then I'm not going to heal and the bones aren't going to fuse properly. And then the whole surgery is just going to like, you know, not work basically. So, um, it's kind of weird being told by a doctor to kind of eat as much not so good food as possible because it will actually keep, keep my, help keep my energy levels up. So yeah, that's about it for now. Um, I'm going to have some people come in today. Mum's going to be coming in around 2. And then Angelina and Zoe are coming in around 5 or 6. Um, but apart from that, I'll keep you updated through the day. So, I've got an update. I um went for a little walk with my physio just then. We went all the way out to the nurse station and back. Um, it's a little bit slower than a normal person's walk. But, you know, it's a lot faster than I've been going. And I had no breaks. Um, I was quite dizzy the whole time. But, you know, I made it there. I made it back. And that was a massive achievement. So... Yeah, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's doing good. It's quarter past 12 on Thursday, the 14th of January. Um, I've just had my lunch, the first time I've had lunch sitting in the chair at the window. Um, I've managed to be able to get over here with the nurse's help, sit down and have some lunch. I'm only allowed to be here for 15, 20 minutes because um, it, apparently it's not good for my back to be sitting here um, like this and then I'm not on oxygen and they don't like me being on oxy off oxygen too long. But I've had my, I had literally just had a salad sandwich and some apple juice no orange juice sorry um and yeah and then i'll probably have a sleep for like an hour or something and then mum should be turning up soon hey guys so it's now five minutes to six on the 14th of january so it is friday night um and i've just had my dinner i had some roast chicken and broccoli cauliflower potato and carrots um so yeah i had that and then a little bit of ice cream for dessert um, and they've just given me my pain meds um, on, at the moment. I've still got the um, ketamine. That's ketamine in the IV, so it just goes through my IV. And I'm also on two tablets of these ones. These ones are a bit different because they go under my tongue. I've got to put them under my tongue for 15 minutes and they dissolve. Um, I'm not quite sure what they actually are, but apparently that is a strong painkiller. Um, and then I take Panadol with it as well because it helps work with the dissolvable drug. Um, and then in an hour, I will then take two oxycodone drugs. I'm back again and we brought Zoe today. Hello. That's all that's important. <laughs> and then we'll give her an update that you care about less than me being here again. I have nothing more to tell you guys. I've already spoken to you before. Um, but yeah, this is probably my third last night in the hospital. Yay. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll speak to you later. <laughs> so just a little update. I am now able to walk to the bathroom myself. I've just cleaned my teeth and washed my face and hands and stuff. So this is day four. We're on the 14th of January. Um, so yeah, it was only this afternoon, this evening, that I've actually been able to walk around myself. Um, I'm still connected up to all my IV and stuff, but I'm able to get up and walk around a little bit. Not for too long though, but you know, this is progress. My pain has gotten really bad tonight. Like right now, I would probably say it's 9 out of 10 pain. It is really bad. Um, I was just up standing for five minutes on my own, getting my, like, teeth done and hair done and face and... All the rest of it so it's like i don't know if that's made it really bad but um hopefully i can get some painkillers soon um because it's really really sore apart from that um i'll just be chilling in bed have my painkillers maybe i might be awake enough tonight to watch some tv before i go to bed and then that'll be it hey guys so it's um it's just past 11 o'clock on the 14th of January um 
I just thought I'd show you this side of it as well because um it's the truth you know it we it's not all milestones and good parts you know it, there is a lot of hard hard moments going through recovery um my pain is about 10 out of 10 pain right now they've given me some oxycodone now um i'm just waiting for that to kick in um it's been hard coming off the iv painkillers because they were really strong um so now that i'm coming like i'm completely off um the hydro um hydromorphone it's just so hard it's just so sore <laughs> um so yeah trying to come off the strong painkillers and still manage the pain <laughs> but um yeah let's let's hope that the painkillers keep kick in and um the pain is gets better later on but yeah i'll check in with you later